All right, so pick a level, pick a, a spinous process. So what you want to do here, you're going to go to the outside of lateral to the spinous process. So I'm going to use my hypothene arm. My elbow is going to be bent. So I'm going to go lateral to, to the spinous process there. With my other hand, I'm going to go on the other side of the spinous process, lateral to that. So my, my hands are in an op opposite direction. I'm going to do a little bit kind of a PA. And I'm going to come up. As I come up, I'm going to straighten my elbow out. Okay, so I'm starting here. And then I'm, as I'm coming up, I'm getting some of that soft tissue out of the way and straightening my elbow. So I'm in this position. So my hands are in opposite directions. Okay, does everyone see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So here, here. I'm going to go in opposite directions. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So go ahead and take in a deep breath and then breathe out. And then you're going to follow her down and quick thrust. That's the screw. That's the screw. So again, so opposite position here, here. Going up, elbow's going to be straight. And take, so as, as she's taking a deep breath in, so I want to keep that pressure down. So as she's taking a deep breath in, and as she breathes out, I'm going to follow her down, and then it's a quick stretch. Hmm. You okay? Yeah. How does it feel? Do I even crack? Oh, no. I'm no. Really <laughs> stiff. Yeah. Really, really stiff. With her, so are you, when you're straightening, are you going into R1 or are you going to R2? Or are you Don't just... breathe on me. Don't breathe on me. Okay. Relax for me. Just relax. <laughs> Can't get it. She's stiff, though. You know, sometimes you get these really stiff people that they are just so stiff. Locks up too much. So anyway, but that's that's the technique. Does it matter which hand, like which way you're going? It doesn't. It doesn't. For me, it doesn't. I mean, unless I Jeff. Actually, I was actually looking at how you did it. So, so Jeff, you do it this the way? way. Yeah, he does it the opposite way. So whatever works best for you. What do you do? This? So I yeah I do it like that. I don't know. I've gotten used to that motor. <laughs> <laughs> So whatever feels good to you, um, that, that, that doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. But you just, I think what's easier is to kind of start in this position and then come up and then your elbows are not fully locked but somewhat locked. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you, ha you, you maintain that pressure, you have them take a deep breath in and then they breathe out and as they breathe out then you press. What pressure are you applying when you straighten Just a straight arms? PA. But I mean, are when you're straightening, are you at R1? Are you maintaining an R1? Oh, I'm past R1. When, I, when I'm straightening here? Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm close to R2, but not quite at its end range, because I want to have some little bit of give to, to, uh, to mobilize. Because if, if, I, if I tighten it up too much, I'm not going to have enough, you know, it, it's not going to work. Because like I'm taking it too, too, too far to its end range. So.